It's episode 34 of Dynasty Tactics. So off camera, last time we were here, in this uh, long play, we achieved the goals to get to here, Sun Lee's arrival. Which basically triggers at any time if you decide to ally with um, Sun Xuan against Liu Zhang. And you've, you've done that basically by, like, it's like your choice. Rather than here, Liu Bei Wu and Shu, where you're just kind of forced to go into it. But Sun Lee's arrival is when it's like a, it's like a choice kind of thing. So we, I did this off camera, and I did this off camera, and no, this off camera, the break with Wu. There is no point in me showing you this because it's the exact same as this one. There is no difference in either of these scenarios. The only difference that we had in Sun Li's arrival when we were fighting Liu Zhang is... So the difference between this and war with Liu Zhang... I think this is war with Liu Zhang, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Sun Li's... Oh, no, 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 it must be here, Liu Bei, Wu and Shu. The only difference between this and this is that Ma Chao's forces are in Liu Zhang's side. And they make the fight a little bit trickier, but not too much. Um, if you have grabbed a bunch of territory, like I grabbed all of the territory around Liu Zhang's cities, so his armies merged together and then just went capturing back his territory, and I was able to just, you know, quickly get my armies around his capital, wipe out his main force, and then just wipe out his force his capital, it was really easy. Sal Sal also didn't attack, so that was good, that was a bonus. You could have attacked Sal Sal if you wanted, but I was just trying to get through Sun Li's arrival as quickly as I could because I didn't need to show this off and there was really no point in me showing this off either. I just wanted to fill in the blank. So now, what are we doing now? If you think this is getting confusing for you, trust me, this is so confusing for me. I have to like rewatch my last video to like understand where I am and what I'm trying to do in the next video because it's that confusing all these different timelines all these different save slots all these different things going on but what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna do the opposite of this so if you don't remember what this is we arrived here because we failed to ally with Ma Chao here in Zhu Liang's plan so we failed to ally with Ma Chao which led to here. So this is entirely new. See once we go here to this entire branching, it's entirely new with a brand new ending that I've never seen before, never done before. And then we only have one more. We're, we're nearly done essentially. We're nearly done with season two. But anyway, let's jump in. So let's get this bad boy started. So we need to go to season, no not season. We need to go to save slot three. We're done with save slot 8, 9, 10, and 11, and 1. So we've done 5 save slots. 5 save slots are all done. And this is where we are. Ally with Machao within the time given, or just simply stop his movement south. So, to refresh, we are neutral with Sun Xuan. We're not allied with him. I don't quite remember why we're not allied with him. I don't quite remember the backstory. Maybe I should have done that. I should have shown off where we were at. Do we have Julian? I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure what we've done is we fought Lu Bu. We, we didn't attack Liu Kong. And we occupied all of Jing as well as stopping Sal Sal's attack south. <clears throat> Pardon me. So what we need to do in this scenario is, oh yeah, so Sao Sao put out an edict against us that's supposed to make Liu Zhang hostile but he's not for some reason and then Sun Xuan is like, hey, let's team up and we'll do a tackle on Yi. But in this timeline we're doing right now, Zhu Liang is like, hey, Sun Xuan probably is only doing this so that he can demand Jing back. So rather than doing that, we should like ally with Ma Chao, take some of Sao Sao's territory and then deal with Yi and Sun Chuan. So that's what we're gonna do. So right off the bat we need to set up defensive um so what I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna cut out all of the stuff in between 
um, like in between battles, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna cut it out because there's not much there. I don't think for you guys to really see. I think you guys really. I don't think you guys watch me just moving armies and moving envoys about the screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'll lay out my plan. We've only have five turns, so we need to get a diplomat all the way over here to Machal's capital. Like we need to start doing this from this turn on. So let's look for a diplomat. I see Chengku, I see Dong He, I, I, Maliang, I like Maliang. So we'll use Maliang and we'll put Maliang, you're gonna start moving. Probably best for you to go this way. And diplomats will not be caught no matter what they do, it's only spies that are caught. So now, do I, have I got all my spies named because I don't want to have, I think we're all good. Alright so basically I'm going to line up what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a bunch of armies, my two best armies are going to come here to Wan. They're going to go there and we're going to get ready to be attacked by Sal Sal because he's going to attack. He's, he's, he's going to come down I bet you, he's going to attack us at Wan and try and take our capital. So we need to defend him. And there's not, there is actually quite a lot of people that we should be trying to get. Deng Zhi is one of them, so I'm probably going to have to, I'm going to send people out to get these people, and when I get them, I'll show you when I get them. I'll try and get Liu Ba, I'll try and get Deng Zhi and Liu Du. I'm not, uh, that might be all I can get. I also need to try and get Jaya Zhu, but I only have five turns and I really don't think I can get Jaya Zhu up there to where Han Sui is in five turns. So we're going to leave that, we're not going to go for Han Sui. Isn't, Han Sui is not that important anyway, like, really the reason you want officers, aside from boosting up your army, is to have a wider range of hiring capabilities. Right, so I'm going to make a cut from here on out. So. I'm going to make my army, my two strong armies, we're going to send them here. I don't have any territories I need to capture. I need to make a few envoys to try and go capture people, that's standard stuff. But really I'm just going to cut out until when something interesting happens. So I'll see you guys when something interesting happens. I don't know when it will be, but I'm trying this out because I think I can cut some time off for you guys seeing all this useless stuff. Well that didn't take very long, Sal Sal declared war on us straight away. So he's going to come and attack us at one, but I do have two strong armies. And we are going to try and capture people. Typically when we capture people, we want to go aim for a 5 to a 6 combo. That's what we really want to aim for if you really want to capture someone, even a level 9. You don't really need to go high into the 7s. Really, usually you don't need to go into the 7s. Because typically it's half of their level, so if they're level 6, it's a 3. If they're 7, it's a 4 kind of thing, typically anyway. Right, what one do we want? They actually have practically no one. Five armies, this is going to be a really easy fight. We'll go for all attack, it's the most useful. Who do we got? Who is against us? Jia how you want, go Jia, Sao Sao, Mao Ji, and Sao Ren. Right, so we can't capture any of these guys. The only person we can capture is Mao Ji. And we do want to do that, if possible, because Mao Ji is a spy, and we don't want... We want to take away his spies as quickly as we can. So I'm going to move Liu Bei out of the way of Goji's pit, because it's a flat terrain, so he can be pitied quite easily, and we want to avoid that. In fact, let's just taunt him straight down here. It's going to make us... We need to take him down quick, because he's actually... Goji has, I think he has fire attack and we are in a grass terrain, so he could easily confuse a whole bunch of us with um, a fire attack if we're not careful. So he goes seventh, so I really need to like take him down dead quick. He goes, he goes after you, so I can definitely do something, yeah that's fine. We'll try and take down Goji before he can do his fire attack. He does definitely have fire attack, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. So we need to, to do this. 
before the fire attack happens. Um, let's just boost. Let's just put a good number of tactics in place just in case. I don't. Th I think Gang is gonna go first, which is probably gonna negate unless I aid, unless I link it. Oh, I could link it. Oh no, he's not a. He's not. I forgot. He's not my strategist because he's not actually got the highest intelligence in this army that I've got. So this is going to probably be a, an aid, a raid, and a raid, and I don't know if that's going to be enough. Last thing you see. If it's not, we're going to have to take the hit. You shall have the honor of being defeated by and we can't actually capture Gojia, don't ever try. Right, we took down Gojia, so we managed to prevent his fire attack, which is a bonus. Now the tricky thing in this fight is going to be capturing Mao Ji. Um, because he's all the way at the back there, and it's going to be really annoying to get to him. So we can um, taunt down Sal Ren. Should we though? Should we? Should we taunt down Sal Ren? Is it worth it? Meh. Go for it. This is going to be a really easy fight. We're not going to lose this fight, I don't think. I don't think we're going to lose this fight. Basically is what I'm saying. I would have to play really, really badly to lose this fight. Right, I've got I've got something I've got something here. We'll do this. Right, we'll do this. That should be good. I'm skipping these, like, you can make these things go much quicker if you just, like, mash start button. And then you don't have to watch the whole animation, which makes it go quicker. And there we go, Gojia and Sauren both defeated. Um, so that's nice. Maoji, we do want to capture him, but he's very, very far away. So it's going to be very annoying, because we're basically going to have to just avoid... We could, yeah, let's get him now. I think that's yeah how you want. Let's get him down here. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> that's gonna lower his morale some. I don't know why Sal Sal attacked me with half an army. It's like he went off half cocked, and I don't get why he did it. He clearly had enough time to prepare two armies to attack me. But he didn't do it for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, so we literally only have Mao Ji, Zhao Yuan, and Sao Sao himself. So we're going to start moving people up towards Mao Ji. What level is Mao Ji? Come to think of it, he's only he's level nine. So we're going to need a five, and we're going to need a five to capture. I figured he was going to go for Liu Bei. That's fine. If we can wipe out Zhao Yuan. Then we can put everyone towards Mao Ji and capture him and then fight quick. Remember, we do have a lot of scenarios to go after this, so we do want to capture officers still because we want to take away from Sal Sal while at the same time um, strengthening our own army. We've still got a lot to go because we've got whole scenarios that I've never even seen before. I've never done this branching path before where I've allied with Ma Chao. I didn't even know it was a thing until I did this uh, long play here, this season 2. So we're going to focus entirely on Jia Hao Yuan at the moment. Mm, I could fire attack him, but I don't quite want to do that just yet. Because it will push him away, and we don't want that. So let's build ourselves a depot right here, because that will be beneficial. It will grab the good portion of our army and boost a good portion of us. I could build another one right here. I'm gonna do- oh no wait! Zhushu, you're- why are- why do I have you set to heavy arms? Catapults and arbalists do a lot of damage, but I typically find that a depot is way more useful. In my opinion, a heavy arms unit should be able to build depots, towers, fences, arbalists, and catapults. It should be able to do all of them, not just one. Right, if you do that, you do that, you do that. You do that. Who'll go first here? I'll go. 
No, well, that won't do any damage though. You'll go last, which is good to know. So the fire attack will happen last. So Gang Nang Zhao Yun will happen. The Mist Lead probably won't even happen, but that's okay because the Mist Lead does nothing. Um, I really, really only want Cheng Wei there so that Zhuge Liang can use his aid. No, not Zhuge Liang, Zhao Yun can use his aid ability. Wait, what's Sao Sao gonna do? I don't. I, I think he's gonna fire attack. Or he's just gonna bow attack. Yeah, he's gonna fire attack. He's gonna grab Go on you in that fire attack. That's fine. <clears throat> All right. I want to trigger that. Oh no, I can't. You've you do go way before Liu Bei, so we need to trigger this now. Is it just start? Can it be triangle? Oh, it's definitely just start. I really need to be hammering away that start to speed up. Look how quick it's going. The enemy is in that direction. Right, that still didn't wipe him out, but he's literally one attack away from being done. So, there we go. A really easy fight to ease me back into recording this. It's been a while, as usual. Right, come on, Maoji, please, thank you. Come close. Come close. Can I fire attack you and confuse you? Yes, we're gonna do that. Just so you're confused for a turn or so, and I don't have to worry about you doing anything dumb. It's potentially lethal to my army. Alright, well, we'll heal go on you. And we'll start moving up. Right, now we can either capture Maoji with a 5 tactic combo, or we can lower his morale to below 40 and then entice him with a spy of our own. It's probably easier and quicker to capture him with a 5 tactic combo than it is to entice. Because very rarely does morale go below 40. Unless you really specifically work out or use awe. Awe is a really good tactic for that, but I am not a big fan of awe. If all it done was reduce morale, I'd be much more for it, but because it pushes them back quite a, way, a ways away, I'm not a big fan of it. Right, so we can start doing stuff here, I guess, but we're really not... Oh, that's annoying. It's okay, his turn's done, so he's not going to have a turn this turn anyway. Yeah, right, I don't want to do that. Um, I could aid. Right, so I need... I need a 5 at the minimum, I think to capture Mal G. Getting that 5 is going to be a little bit tricky, but we'll try. More so just because of Sao Sao, and I think Sao Sao is going to do some stuff that's going to make it difficult for me to achieve. Right, he, right, you've used up your, he's got circles, so, right, so, you've got pet, you've got all attack, which is good. I need you to do something here. I need you to do that, so that's one, two, and then that's three. Nowhere near enough right now. Let's lower his morale a bit. Right, so this would be... Ah! Can't do that, I used up your aid already! I could raid through, that's one. And then that would be an all attack. That would be a three, so that would be a four. One, two, three, four. Do I want to risk a four? Do I want to risk a four to capture Maoji, who's level nine? I don't think I do. We're going to have to hope that we can get another tactic op opportunity. See, what I was thinking, I could make it a five. If I got you to do a fire arrow, but that would shift both of them, and it would really mess up my. It would really mess things up for me, I think. 
Alright, so we didn't go for that idea. What's he gonna do? He's gonna awe, which is annoying, but not the worst thing he could have done. Value your life. Do not defy me. In fact, it is actually quite annoying. Can we think of it? Because it's gonna push all three of them back. <laughs> and you're gonna revive. Awesome. Fight as if you're fighting your way from hell. Oh, maybe if I hold it in, maybe if maybe that's what really skips it. I'll try holding it in. Right, I really just want Sal Sal to be like awake. So let's circle him and then that will confuse him again. I just want him out of the way so we can focus on Mao G. I know this isn't going to be a massive gameplay thing, but really I'd rather have the spy on my side than their side. So, and it's not like we're going to be struggling this fight, so might as well. That could be good. All attack, and then aid. And then pet. Ah, uh, they. You, all attack. So one, a two, a three, a four, and then if I link this, if I can link this with something else. Oh yeah. Oh no, I don't have, I only have, right, that's not gonna work. We'll do a couple of revives. So revive, a revive, an all attack, an aid, a pet, and an all attack. Right, this should work. If it doesn't, the game hates me. Because remember, the two of well, the revive, I don't think, I think Guy 9 might go next. But the revives will boost our attack power for the other combos. You must risk your life. So these attack tactics here must, they're going to be really strong. Working so far. I shall assist you. Oh, I forgot. Hold it in. Here we go. Mao G captured. So we've obtained, we've achieved all of our objectives in this fight, really. And we haven't really taken any losses at all. So now we can just, like, do whatever we want, really. Salsal's pretty much done. So it's an easy first fight against him. You might as well block all enemy tactics. I mean, why not make this even easier for ourselves? Why not, right? I really don't get this fight. It's, what was Salsal thinking, really? I don't think this Overlord is going to help you much here. So there, and you do surround, and then you do repel. Yeah, that works. We're just looking to wipe him out here at this point. Now, can I just hold in, and it will automatically, or do I need to reapply? I need to reapply, yeah. For each individual tactic. But there we go, he's done. That was a really easy battle, actually. Like, what, 16 minutes for that? Captured an officer, wiped out all of his main units. He still has plenty of backup people, but... Yeah, learn surround. Surround is always useful to know. He didn't even make an army at Zhu Chang, like... It's just so annoying, because I, like... If we could just move and we could take his capital so easy and just be done with the whole war, but well, the game doesn't let ya. Anyway, so nothing else interesting has happened, so I'll cut out to when something interesting happens again. 
Okay, so Sasa came out as again, but this time with a fresh army, like one that he's just made, and it's Sima Yi this time, so we'll go for aid. Now let's have a look. Who do we have to fight this time? We captured um Denji, we captured no we didn't we we hired Denji, better to say, and we hired that Liu Du guy, but nothing else interesting happens. So we have Zhi Hao Dun, Sima Yi, he's got pet, Sao P. Um, a horseman unit, a Yu Jin, and an infantry unit. I don't think any of these are capturable at all. I don't think Yu Jin is capturable. I've tried so many times to capture Yu Jin and I've never managed it, so I really don't think he is. And obviously, these two aren't capturable, so we're just gonna work on wiping everybody out here. Um, because, for the reason. Um, is we don't want them to reform an army of... We, we basically don't want them to reform any army at all. So if we do defeat any day... If we defeat Sisimi right now, an army will form with Sao P, Jia Hao Dun, and Yu Jin. And because they're all commanders, they all have that blue flag. So we want to wipe out everybody with a blue flag so they don't reform an army. So if I set you to pet and then you to aid... And then I just put you to revive, and then we can probably do some decent damage to Sal P straight off the bat. So we might as well do that. Is there any downside to this? I could wait even longer. Yeah, I'm, I could wait even longer because, yeah. I could make it even better, basically, is what I'm saying. If I put you here. And then we trigger it with, oh that's not, oh. oh no wait, no this still works. And then we just trigger it with you, so. Yeah, this works pretty well. I'm fairly confident we'll cap um, take out Sal P by doing this. If we don't, the game hates me. And he's in against those, uh, that Archer Tower as well. I've never found the Archer Towers to be that useful though, if I'm honest. Let me help you. If you desire success, you must risk Come on. We've all seen these animate these animations so many times. They do not want to see it again. I shall assist. Anyway, that's Sal P done. He's done out the way. That's one less enemy. See, me, you're gonna do, he's not gonna do anything, funnily enough. That's surprising. Oh, he's trying to set something up first. Well, there's only one thing we can do about that, and that is charge straight at them. All we need to worry about is wiping out the commanding units and then taking out Sima Yi. We're not gonna bother with these infantry and horsemen units because they're pretty terrible and they're not important at all so why would we ever bother? Salsal's not really putting up much of a fight, he's not really trying to capture Jing here, he's just kinda sending token forces against us just because he feels like he has to I guess, I don't know, like he already knows he's not gonna win I mean I've already kicked his ass in like several different endings of the game we're gonna move everybody up because we're gonna get pitied regardless. Now we could taunt Sima Yi down. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's actually do that. Just for the fact that it will mean that he can't pit one of my guys all the way up there <laughs> into a situation that's favourable to him. We don't want that. We're not about that life. And now that he's here and also confused, we can all move up and like be like, yep, we're gonna go and kill the rest of your guys now. I hate bow riders because they always they just they they all they just love doing the archery. They just love that archery. Right, 
I could, yeah, we're not going to bother with CMG, we're just going to pretend he's not there. Just go straight for everyone else. Minus the infantry and horsemen, we're just going to pretend they're not there as well. Is this the horseman unit? I think this is the horseman unit. This is the horseman unit. And it's, we're not, we're literally not going to waste the tactics on them. They're that unimportant. Here we go. Let's move. So, yeah, we don't bother with any of you. They're gonna get in the way of my progress, but that's okay for now. Right, you. We need to take care of you. We need to take care of you. Leave you. We don't care about you very much. Frontal assault, and we almost killed a thousand of them. That's not bad. Let's save your tactics for when we can actually do stuff. Is he gonna fire attack? I think he's probably gonna fire attack. No, he's gonna shift. Interesting. He's doing the best he can, guys. He's doing the best he can. He's working with limited units here, come on. Right, um, screw all you guys, we're going up here. He's probably gonna, you know, he's gonna bow, see what I mean about the archery? Like, he just loves the archery. He just, they just love doing that for some reason, I don't know why. Right, Eugen and... Jihal doing together. This is what we want. Our infantry units coming out as guards. No, leave, go away. This horseman unit has been annoying because it's sending Zhushu everywhere but where I need them to be. You know what? Just. No, I'm not doing that. I would have ambushed you but I'm not circling you. We're getting there. I just need to find a thing to do here. I can, I can surround. Oh, let's, let's. I can sur I could pincer you, and then you'll go forward. Oh, but I need to trigger this. You know what, I'll trigger it with Liu Bei. We'll do, we'll do all attack, all attack pincer or something, I don't know. Right, Tian Feng, just circle this guy so that he goes out of the way, because we don't want him here. We don't need his nosy business. His nosy business. We don't need his, we don't need his nosiness. Just, you go do your thing at the edge of the map. No one cares about you. I will go do with people that we actually want to fight. Oh, I can make this even better. Is there a point though? I could maybe... I could maybe change this to a repel. Yeah, I might as well change it to a repel. And I might as well put this to... Oh, I don't have... I might as... No, you've got really high. You'll go first, so... Let's... Let's do this. Let's do it. This should, at the very minimum, this will take out Jihad Dune. I don't know about you, Jin. Probably not you, Jin, because it's the second tactic that happens. 8,000, though, that's still decent for a second tactic. We really did a bit of overkill on Jihad Dune, but oh well. The enemy is dropping like flies. Wow, that was such a game changer. Right, so... Gonna flank you, Jen? Seriously, that's what you got up your sleeve. The 
charge is a little bit better. It brings you closer to my forces, so I'm okay with that. Hmm. I don't care about what happens to me. I really don't care what happens down the south here. Oh, wrong person. I went to do you, Jen. <laughs> Tian Feng, I feel sorry for you, man. You're, you're like a genius and you're like all the way out here. I can't actually do anything and it's frustrating me. Oh, he's gonna pet, isn't he? Oh no, he's just gonna bow attack. I thought he was gonna pet Zhao Yun back, and I was like, why? Why do you hate me so much? I mean, all we're trying to do is wipe him out, I suppose. Oh wait, how far back does... Oh no, he doesn't have... This is a problem, he doesn't have any actual offensive moves equipped. I should probably change that. Let's do a Repel, and then a... All attack, and then you can do a Raid, I guess. Just because... Let's do this. And hopefully this finishes off you, Jen. Behold, here. This should finish him off, really. Oh yeah, it does. Right, that's it. We can go straight for Sima Yi now. No messing about. So if I'm right, I think Salsa will attack one more time before this scenario is done. But if he doesn't attack with a fresh army, that he's just made, that's basically, if he's attacked with an army that's basically the same one, I'm not showing it. There's no point, because it's just going to be me trashing him. Especially if it's the last turn or something like that, like, we don't need that. We don't need that. So everybody wants Sima Yi. I can't believe this... Footman unit is still alive. I really need to give Liu Bei some more offensive tactics. He has nothing, does he? He's basically just a support character at the moment. Which, I mean, he's really good at that. He's really good at being just a support character. It's just, when it comes to actual offense, sometimes it's good to have a little bit of offense, you know what I mean? We're, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Gotta drag all my forces back down to the other end of the battlefield. Let's just try and kill this guy. Oh, Zhong Yao, you didn't even do 200 damage, man. Like, what are you all about? I know you're a spy and you're not really meant for frontline fighting, but still. Yeah, let's muster, why not? Muster's a really good trump, by the way. It raises all mora allies' morale by 5 and lowers all enemy morale by 5 as well. So it's generally a very good thing to use. But you need to. It's a rare trump to get, so gotta be careful with its usage. Here we go, the infantry is done. Finally. That took you far too long, Xiao Yun, far too long. Um. Might as well. Let's do it, I guess. I will leave you. That did nothing. Well, okay, it did something, just not what I wanted it to. 
Can I just say the music in this game is amazing? Like, I could listen to this and this soundtrack all day. This OST is great. Again, we've taken basically nothing. Oh, I could muddle and then all attack, and then that's it. But that's still stuff. I might even be able to fire arrow. Let's do some stuff here. Oh, I didn't even mean that. Oh, over a thousand damage from a single attack. Guy Nang, you are OP. Might as well try and wipe this guy out for the experience, I guess. I mean, he's almost dead anyway, so... Free experience, I guess. Everybody all attack. Okay, one last person to take down and we are done. Who gets the honours? Zhuliang, you really should get the honours, shouldn't you? I bet he doesn't even take him down. Nope, he then just gave him more morale. Let's do this, and then this will finish things off. For good, I'm sure. Well, it's freaking better, he only has 800 HP left, so... There we go, Shugula, and you did get the honours of finishing off Sima Yi. Victory, yet again. So we get three level ups there. I'll take it. Right, so we only got two turns. And if he attacks with this army, the one he attacked with originally, we're not going to show that fight. I only need to get Maliang. But if we can get Mal. In fact, I may as well just show this because we can basically end this now. So let's put Maliang there. And then we're going to drop a save. And we're gonna we're gonna do it, but we're gonna progress this timeline to a timeline a bit where I've never seen before. I have no idea what's gonna happen in this bit at all. So let's enjoy what happens. End of turn. Negotiating alliance. Yes! Hell yeah. And I'm gonna shut up now. Oh my goodness, this, that, that was quick. I was expecting something a lot better. I really, really was. Expecting something a lot better. Is this the end? Surely this isn't the end. Surely there's something... Like, after this. Let me just check this. I don't, this doesn't seem right. It don't seem right. I think this might be the end. Is it? Surely not. Surely, surely, surely you can't be serious. Because Liu Zhang is still about. I don't think it is the end. But we're allied with Ma Chao. Good old Ma Chao. 
and he's gonna he's gonna try try and attack Chang An, and he's not gonna do a lot. Mainly, it's gonna be up to us. Um, yeah. There's not much we need to do here, really. I need to form a bunch of bunch more armies. Um, I need to form a bunch bunch more armies. I need to send them out to grab a bunch of territory because I'm convinced this isn't the last scenario. I am convinced. But anyway, we're gonna save. We're gonna drop a save. And we're here in number three. And I'm gonna see you guys next time. Where we we've we've came here to I think this is Liu Bay's resolve. This isn't what I thought we were gonna go to. I thought we were gonna go to something completely different, but okay. And I will see you guys next time.